Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. In the previous video, we have seen how to launch an Omni script on a button click using velocity action and a flex card. The previous example did not require us to pass any ID or something that the guided flow could use further in the process. So it was pretty straightforward. If you haven't checked the previous video, I'll leave a link in the cards here. Go check that out to better understand the current video. To understand the problem statement better, let's have a look at the business scenario. So the business needs a button on account record page, clicking on which an Omniscript is launched. Before moving on to the guided flow, the business wants the users to see a summarized view of the same account details. Now to achieve this particular goal, we need to fetch the current record ID from the record page and pass it on to the Omniscript as a context ID. Let's find out how. So I've logged into my demo org and so this is the data raptor extract that I've created. It's a very simple one, a very basic one. It's acting upon the account object and the extract output path is account. The filtering criteria is based on the record ID and it is expecting rec ID as an input which, it, which uh, the data after extract is going to use as a key for filtering records. Now the output is going to look something like this. We have the name, we have ID, we have phone and the industry that we are getting back from this extract action. This is the Omniscript. If you see the design, when we call it, when it is getting launched, first of all the data after extract action is being called. Now if you see this closely, you would see the input parameter what the data after is expecting is record ID which I have mentioned here and the value is going to come from this data source which is the context ID. In our example, we are going to provide the context ID uh, manually, but in the real scenario, it has to come from the record page. We will see how. In the very next step, we have just displayed the account details using a text block. And let me show you how it works. This is the context ID that we are passing. And as you can see, we have the details shown on the screen. Now we want this to happen on the click of a button. Okay. Now if you go ahead and create a button uh, using a flex card and then calling a velocity action from the flex card, it's going to be very complicated. I mean, obviously it is achievable but to pass parameters in the velocity action from your flex card and then passing it on to a Omniscript, it's going to be, to be a bit confusing, I would say. And also when you pass parameters to a velocity action, it has to be in such a format that you have to use scape uh, sequences and characters in curly braces. So there is a smarter way out and that is what we are going to see in this video. Now the two, two things are very important when it comes to this particular solution. First, that if you embed a flex card on a record details page, you can fetch the current record ID as record ID on the flex card. You can access basically the record ID on which you have embedded the flex card. This is I would say as a particular feature of Salesforce. And the second key thing to remember is you can pass the current record ID as context ID to the Omniscript using context ID property of Omniscript action on flex, flex card. Let's try to see one by one how it works. 
I have created a very simple flex card in which there is only one uh, rich text box and this is the record ID that we are going to print. Now if you are not familiar, this is how we how we use the merge field in flex cards. Whatever, whatever property you want to display, you have to keep it inside curly braces so that it can display it. And it is in active state right now. So let's go ahead and go to any account record and simply embed this particular LWC or you can say flex card. All right. We would go to edit page. Let's get rid of this previous uh, demo example. And we have the demo 10 here. Let's drag and drop it somewhere here. And let's hit save. Okay, changes are saved. Let's go back. And there we go. As you can see, this is the same value as the record ID of this particular account. And what we have done to fetch it is simply make use of the record ID property here. We are going to make use of this particular concept to pass the value on to the Omniscript. Let's see how. Let's deactivate the current uh, flex card and it is done. Let's go to build and drag and drop an action. Now I have shown you in the previous uh, video how we can play around with the styling of this action. We can simply do display as button. We can hide the icon. We can select a brand. So this is how it's going to look like. Now, here comes the uh, important parts to remember. First of all, you have to select the action type as an Omniscript because we are going to launch an Omniscript. In the previous video, we have seen how we can do this using the velocity action. Let's select Omniscript here. Let's change the label to uh, custom action or something. Okay. Let's see what okay icon we are not using here. Let's select the Omniscript. And the name of our Omniscript is sample slash video 10 slash English. Okay. Now if if you if you go ahead with this example, let's let's get rid of this particular record ID, the text element that we have included. Let's keep it this way and try to activate it. Please keep in mind that we have not set the context ID property. Let's see how it goes. Let's refresh the page once so that the button gets visible.
here is our custom action button if we just click on it it should launch an omni script Now the Omni script is launched successfully but as you can see there is no data. Why is that? Because if you see the Omni script in the designer you would see that we need to pass a context ID for this guided flow to work. See, there is no data because the context ID over here is blank. If we select anything and we hit tab, it should so show some details. There you go. So we need to make some changes in our flex card. We need to pass the context ID so that the Omniscript would be able to use the particular context ID to search for the records using the data raptor extract action. Let's deactivate it. Oh, that was quick. And all we have to do is set this context ID properly. And mind you, this is very specific to the Omniscript action type. If you select anything else, you won't be able to see it. So let's go ahead and give context ID to, to our Omniscript. And again, we have to do it using the merge fields. We need to write record ID in this particular format only. Let's activate it. Refresh the page once. And let's try to click it and see if we are getting the required results or not. And there you go, it's working as expected. Thank you for tuning in, see you in the next video.